Oh. Uh, after calming down, I'm ready to make this video. On second thought, no, I'm not calm. I'm actually kind of pissed. Um, for those of you who don't know, Batman, Batman number 50 was supposed to come out Wednesday. But New York Times spoiled it. Batman and Catwoman don't get married. Because, God forbid you change the status quo. God forbid you make one of your darkest characters happy. Thanks, New York Times, because now you just damage the comic book shops. Oh, and uh, it says right here that on Tom Kane's Twitter, Batman 50 is not the end. This is a 100-issue story documenting and celebrating the love of Batman and Catwoman. Whatever happens, whatever anyone says, nothing's going to spoil that. Right. Right. So. You, uh, really want to test the fans on that. You really think after the bullshit you pulled, people are still going to buy this issue? No. See, this is what a smart person would do. Have them get married. Halfway through the story. Then have their characters... You know, have issues dedicated to them, living a normal life... And a vigilante life. Simple. Celebrate their love. Celebrate them. Celebrate Batman and Catwoman. Oh, and after, you know, they do the whole kiss the bride thing, League of Shadows busts in, Rachel Ghoul goes, You're supposed to take care of, you know, you're supposed to, you're supposed to run the League and marry my daughter. And then Batman Catwoman take the take the League of Assassins the fuck out together as husband and wife as Mr. and Mrs. Blake see that's what a smart writer would do but no 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 no, no. Tom Kane had to basically give us blue balls to the point where the New York Times they fucked up okay I'm gonna say this I mean okay they saved us a lot of time but still the New York Times fucked up in this way. And the mistake you made was spoiling it because I don't think you realize what this does to the comic book shops. Because there's really the comic book shops getting emails out the ass going cancel the bat cancel Tom King's Batman off my poll. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, New York Times. You just basically cause businesses to have to pull Batman off of people's polls. It's probably a lot of people too. Because a lot of Batman fans have been waiting for this wedding to happen. So, yeah. It is Tom King and New York Times' this fault that um, people are now pulling the uh, Batman comic off their polls. Because Tom King couldn't follow through with the wedding. And New York Times just had to go and spoil it. So... There you go. I'll be doing more reviews later on. So, see you guys later.